being strong physically and mentally is is one of the greatest things that you can have in life. If you start off in life like everybody else, with not much strength, with not with not much knowledge, you're at a disadvantage. What makes a difference in people's lives? Unless you had the opportunities to learn and build and become a better person, then you're like the majority out there. There's there's no real ability that you have other than making a decision to make yourself better to improve yourself whenever i list great things that 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 can help you something like reading a book the book think and grow rich if you read that book if you understand that 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 is an old book that is that's not going to be something that was new age and it's got some new key tip for it but it is of such value as you read that book and reread that book you realize how switched on the people were that were involved in creating the material for that book. The things that you listen to, the things that you can learn from, have to be the best. You can't you can't slowly progress. Find the stuff that's the best and apply it. As you do that, you take yourself from the person who wasn't that strong, wasn't that able, didn't have the strongest mind, to someone who has the most strong body, the strongest mind, and is able to go through the difficult stuff that's ahead of them. I want that for you. I want you to understand what it's gonna take to get there though. Most people we look at, they're strong in one area. If you're only strong in one area, what happens if life takes you outside of that area? What happens if you decide to expand your life and go towards something better like every person should? Most people live small lives, they're just stuck there. They accept that, that's a life lost. If you start to open up opportunities and keep pressing the boundaries of where you're willing to go, If you can use that brain of yours and think about where to guide your energy, then although you're doing the same thing as everybody else, eventually time's gonna pass and you're gonna be doing things that you wanna do that's a challenge for you, that that, that are achieving goals that are of your own standard, your own mission, and not following the boss, not looking for somebody out there who's, who's saying that there's a great opportunity but you're not too sure of. Find it on your own terms. It's gonna be different for everyone. But again, if we accept the individual, that, that tells us what we should be doing. Or worse, we think somebody's living the life that we want to live, that we have found through social media and they post a picture and we say, that's the life. Unless you are willing to, to live that person's life, like most people shouldn't, you should live your own individual life, your own great life that you know you can go for. That's gonna take a strong body and a strong mind. Start with where you're at, build it. If you keep doing that, then you're gonna notice how life changes for you. Nothing externally changes. The, the lifestyle doesn't change, the people don't change, your do- job doesn't change, but what does change is you. What does change is how you respond to what happens. You're getting fired from the job, I've been fired before. I, I, I didn't take shit, I said fuck you. You get thrown out of the job. How do you respond to it? Leave that job stronger, ready to go for the next challenge to get better. I've been rejected hundreds of times, probably thousands of times. I don't accept the rejections as a problem that I have. I I learn from the rejections. I say, how do I become better because of this? Most people aren't willing to do that. Most people aren't willing to go for something that puts them at risk, that's a challenge that's difficult. 